Hello everyone, welcome to another programming episode of Codespy. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about something very interesting. I'm going to answer one question. Can object oriented programming be done in C language? I'm talking about plain C language. Well, I know most of you will answer that no, it cannot because C is a procedural language and C++ is an object oriented language. So which effectively means that in C, we cannot write object oriented code. Well, let's see. So I have a object oriented code written over here with a class test. It's in C++, which is having a value as a parameter and I'm having a getter and a setter function. Okay. In the main function, I'm creating an instance of class test. I'm setting the value 100. I'm printing the get. So let me go ahead and compile this code and see what happens. If I go ahead and run it, I get 100. No surprise here and nothing great about it. Now, can we do something very similar in C? Let's see. Let me get rid of this class test. Now, in C, there is no keyword called class. We have something called struct. So let me create a struct test. And in test, I'll create a parameter called int value. Okay. Now, what happens that inside the structure of a C language, we cannot create functions. So we will have to create getter and setter function outside of the structure. So what we will do is that we'll say void setter and let me take the instance of test star t uh, let's say inst and int value. And inside it, what I will do is that I'll say inst dot arrow value equal to value. Similarly, let me create a getter function called int getter. It will also take the instance of struct and it will return as return inst value. Okay, so that is my getter and setter function. Now, how to get this getter and setter function inside this structure? Well, we know that inside the struct we cannot create functions, but we can create variables and variables can very well be pointer. I can do this, right? If I can create pointers inside a structure, I can create function pointers inside instru uh, structure, okay? So let me create a function pointer for setter and getter. So what I will do is that, uh, I'll create a function pointer called set. I know it takes test star and int. This is a function pointer for set. And let me create a function pointer for get in here also it takes the test star instance fine so i have created two function pointers and in the main function what i will uh, do is that create an instance of t okay and what i will do is that i'll say t dot t1 dot set is equal to the setter and t1 dot get is equal to getter okay now I can use the setter and getter function the way I used it in C++. I can say t1.set is let's say 200 now and in here I'll do t1.get. Now it will give me an error because in this particular case the setter and getter function, the set and get function takes two parameters. One is the instance of the class. So let me pass ampersand t1 at both the places. Okay. And let me go ahead and compile this code. Okay. And if I go ahead and run it, I'll get 200. Now I want your emphasis on these things. Like I can call this setter and getter function in the very similar way. I'm calling it in C++. Only difference is that in C++, you get this instance automatically as this. In here, I have to pass it manually. So this is a object oriented code in plain C language which you have just seen. Now, the idea behind this small video is that you have to understand what is the meaning of programming language and programming constructs. So C is a procedural language. You can do almost everything with it. Okay. Of course, we cannot have some access specifier like private because that's a different thing that will be enforced by compiler. But as far as programming construct goes, you can do everything in C. So when we say that there is a language which is object oriented language, it means that there are some things 
which these object oriented languages will do automatically which we will have to do if we don't use these languages okay for example these instance will be passed automatically now some of you might be having a confusion that when you create multiple instance of a class the multiple instance of functions will be created that's not true as we have seen here there is only one instance of a function multiple instance of the variables are created all of them are referring to the same function you can also see that in c++ something similar happens that all the class instances always refer to a single function but they will have different instances of the variables and you can see that it is working on your own instance variable because it passes these things automatically now again the idea behind this video is to make you understand that there is a difference between what the way you program and the what programming language provides when you choose your programming language i mean there are multiple things you can do in almost all programming language you select your programming language based on the constructs you are looking forward to okay so i hope this video is useful for you to understand the concept of programming language programming constructs okay and what you should consider before choosing a programming language so that's all for this particular video guys thanks a lot thanks for watching please take a moment to like comment share and subscribe thank you thanks a lot